Okay, here's an interesting one. Uh, this is a Belgian beer and it's called Fruly Strawberry Beer. 4.1%, uh, it's from the uh, Van Dyce Brewery, Belgium. So this is essentially a, a Belgian white or wheat beer and it's brewed with uh, pure, 30% pure strawberry juice, apparently. So, uh, no further ado, let's take a take a go at it. You might recall I had a blueberry beer recently, so it's sort of that was really good. So it sort of re-sparked my interest in maybe trying out some more fruit beers, even though I've had trouble with several of them in the past too. So uh, I can smell it from here already. Let's pour out. I got my. Uh, brandy glass here hmm. these come in a bit smaller bottles uh, 250 milliliters okay so um, it's got a it might not look it on the camera but the head is actually sort of a kind of a pinkish color almost sort of almost like um, strawberry milkshake kind of pinkish sort of color okay the actual color itself is uh, sort of a very hazy uh, almost red uh, it's sort of a in between red and pink kind of hazy maybe even bordering on amber okay so I'm gonna take a smell now Wow you can really smell the strawberries in this. Uh, it's essentially like smelling really, really sweet strawberry juice. Uh, what would this be akin to? Hmm. Something very sweet with strawberries. Uh, wow. You can, it's almost like the sugar crystals are just like flying up my fucking nose. Okay, that's how sweet it is smelling. Okay, so I'm going to take a taste now. Okay, I know what this sort of looks like. This sort of looks like, uh, sort of like, uh, sort of pink grapefruit juice. Sort of a, a quite darker color than that but it's sort of similar that's that's what it reminds me of okay so I'm gonna take a taste now Ooh. it tastes almost pretty much exactly how it smells but um, thankfully it's not as sweet it's not uh, coying uh, I actually quite like that. Uh, take another taste here. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure you can call that a beer. Uh, <laughs> it sure, it sure to fuck doesn't taste like a beer. It says it has the barley, malt, the wheat, hops, yeast. So it's got everything you need. But man, does it not taste like beer. It tastes like really really sweetened fruit juice uh, it sort of t it tastes like a wine cooler essentially that's what it that's what it tastes like a strawberry wine cooler uh, if that's your sort of thing you'd probably really like this I think women would probably really enjoy this beer not of course this of course not to say that uh, there aren't women out there who like real beer and who uh, and they and that they can't drink the same beer as men, but you know a lot of women like the sweet alcoholic drinks, uh, and this would probably be a really really good beer for for uh, for a chick. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of women they don't like the the sweet uh, they don't like the heavy alcohol uh, uh, drinks, so they get like coolers something sweet with a little bit of alcohol just to give them a buzz they could probably oh, well, I could see a I could see a girl going through this stuff uh, pretty ferociously uh, 
yeah, it's not bad. Um, for a fruit beer, it's really pretty good. I'd give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, definitely not the kind of thing I would drink a lot of. Uh, I think the, the sweetness would uh, get on my nerves after a while. But, uh, yeah, if you like really, really sweet uh, wine coolers uh, and you want that essentially in beer form, this is probably the perfect beer for you. Um, for me, I'd give it a pass as far as probably picking it up again. I don't know, maybe for a dessert. Also a perfect dessert beer, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'd give it about a 3 out of 5. Uh, I can't give it any higher because I can't really say it's something that I want to pick up again or drink a lot of. But uh, for a fruit beer, this is quite unique and excellent. Uh, I haven't quite tasted as many fruit that many fruit beers that are quite like this one. Uh, so uh, it's worth checking out, uh, definitely. Especially if you uh, if you're looking for an alternative to wine coolers out there, ladies.